before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing lower on Wednesday after the Federal Reserve decided to keep its federal funds rate unchanged at two and a quarter to two and a half percent as expected, while reaffirming its commitment to be patient on future rate moves. Shares in energy, materials and household and personal products, they were under pressure while on the economic docket, the ADP reported that U.S. economy adding 275,000 private jobs in April. While in other news, the final readings of April market U.S. manufacturing PMI posting 52.6, the ISM manufacturing index dropping to 52.8 in April, and construction spending declining 0.9% month over month in March, while the Federal Reserve decided once again to keep its rate unchanged to and a quarter to two and a half percent as expected, reaffirming its commitment to be patient on the future rate moves. The FOMC mentioned that overall and core inflation on a 12-month basis have gone down and stated the econ economic activity rose at a solid rate. This all has 83% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now after the markets closed, Qualcomm announcing second quarter adjusted EPS of 77 cents on adjusted revenue of $4.88 billion. MetLife announcing first quarter adjusted EPS of $1.48 from $1.36 one year ago on adjusted revenue of $15.45 billion. Turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei closed for a holiday, but the Hang Seng up 0.83%. China's CSI 300 also closed, but South Korea's Coast B open up 0.42%. European markets trading lower, and U.S. futures call for a slight rebound at the open. In terms of expectations today, Dow DuPont first quarter EPS seen at 4 to 6 cents on sales of approximately $15.1 billion. Cigna first quarter EPS seen at $3.74 on sales of approximately $33.7 billion. Well, on the economic dock at 8 30 in the morning, we have first quarter non farm produ productivity, initial and continuing jobless claims figures, 10 o'clock March factory orders. Now, looking at the markets, the SP 500 is where we begin. That sees its key resistance 29.40. The NASDAQ expected at 76.92, while the Dow Jones sees its key resistance at 26,465, and that's in focus. As long as 26,465 is the resistance, expect a return to 26,325. Short positions below 26,465 are favored with targets at 26,325 and 26,290 in extension.